You got an iPhone with a dynamic island, but are you really using it to its full potential? You see, most people would just sit there and just use Face ID as well as simple music controls, but this thing can do much more. And since the competition is now starting to integrate it, like the Samsung S25 Ultra had like their version, the now brief, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you other amazing things this thing can do, which will throw those third party companies away. So as always, timestamps will be in the description down below for your pleasure. And let's start off with music control and i'll have links to this wallpaper as well in the description for you but when it comes to music it doesn't matter if it's apple music or third party if we simply launch like the music and quickly like play a track i am going to mute this device due to copyright purposes but we exit out here notice on the top here we do have indicator right here letting us know that music is indeed playing by long holding of course you have your pause and play ability your capability to scheme between the track favorite Airdrop it, play it on your TV or home pods, depending on your setup. But if you don't like seeing this, you can always just slide and it'll just go away. And just do the opposite slide and it'll reveal it. And by a simple tap, we'll launch you to the app. But it gets even better when you have a pair of two AirPods, of course. You see, by taking your AirPods case and then simply just putting each earbud in, it'll show us the battery stats right there of our AirPods. And then if I pause this, and I would to connect this to a charger as an example, on the very top portion, it will give us feedback our device is charging. And the cool thing is about the Dynamic Island, if you download the Apple Sport app right here, Apple Sports, by launching this app and you select the My Team section and select Edit, add your favorite leads, teams, and by simply just favoring them, so long as this app is installed, it will show on the Dynamic Island the current score of your favorite team or game that's currently playing, which supports NBL, NHL, NBA, and etc. Even soccer and stuff. But my most favorite feature is when you have a timer running in the background. Because if we set like a, let's say, a quick 10 minute timer, hit start, leave the app, it'll show us the time all the time right above here. In addition to that, you can have two actions taking place at once on the Dynamic Island. So if we go and launch music once more, hit play, exit out of that. Now we have two things running at once. And you can tap the timer to quickly go to your timer and the music to go back to the music that's not playing. Of course, you can also long play, uh, long hold, I mean, as well. So it gives you the multitask ability like no other device. And this works equally as well when you have maps running in the background. As when you set a direction, it will show you real world time, including the street address, and you can long press to see more additional information on your lock page or home page. Now real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds and leave this video a like, I'll truly appreciate those because this allows this channel to be powered by you guys, the viewers, not integrated brands or segments that take like several minutes just to get through, just to continue with the informative content. So if you enjoy these type of informative videos, leave a like. Thank you. Let's carry on. And I want to receive an incoming call. You can either decide on answering it or just do this if you don't feel like answering. But if you decide to change your mind, you can always just tap on the phone icon and then decide to answer. And it'll keep tap. Let me go ahead and pause the timer real quick on how long your conversation is going for. So if I remove this timer, you'll see the audio waves as well as the time that we've been on this call. So you could continue using your phone and then just long hold on top to end the call or switch between your pieces. And then your music will automatically resume back. And it gets even better when you use personal hotspot as well. By going in settings and going in cellular or you could launch control center, long hold right here, you can enable personal hotspot. And with personal hotspot enabled, it'll give you feedback when the device is connected. So right now we do have a connected device showing us our hotspot is turned on. Yeah, that's my password. But exiting out of here, tap again. You can always disable your hotspot right over here. I mean, right here. And our hotspot is turned off. Then with iOS 18, the flashlight animation is all fully animated and controlled right here with your dynamic island where you could control the width or the narrowness of your flashlight torch. And you could tap to dismiss it or enable it and it tells you real time right here. And if you have a smart lock, HomeKit is fully compatible here to give you real world feedback when you unlock certain devices or have quick access to your own personal vehicles from here. And then if you're airdropping something to another device, like this video, if I would airdrop it to like my Mac computer, there we go, I could do this and it'll give you real time feedback 
of the airdrop process. This also includes if you're downloading something on Safari. So on Safari, if I need to download something, hit download. In real time, the dynamic island will show me the download status if it's something large. And this doesn't just end there, as there's, as there's a plethora of amazing third-party apps that do give you the ability to continue utilizing the dynamic island. One of which is Flight Radar, which is not only great to track airplanes above, but also it can be used for your personal flights. It gives you real-time information about boarding time, as well as plane takeoff and arrival. And this is my favorite app when it comes to just monitoring my friends and family's flights, see if they arrive safely. Great for picking them up as well from the airport and well, just keeps anybody informed. And if you do a lot of voice recording, you can just let it record and you'll see your audio wave feedback right there, making sure that everything is working properly in case you have a third party mic hooked up to your iPhone. Of course, you can just tap to go back and end the voice memo recording right here. And if you have home pods or compatible third party speakers, if you walk by it, the dynamic island will give you feedback, allowing you to quickly connect to whatever audio you're listening to from your iPhone speaker to external audio sources by a simple tap. And now I don't even have to be in the same room or ask Siri to verbally change the track when I could just tap once and quickly have access to all my media controls, including external speaker sources. And then there's amazing third-party apps like Rocket as an example, which will give you real-time information on performance numbers of your iPhone if you're into that type of data. And based off all that, it's obvious that the Dynamic Island is definitely Apple's nice secret weapon currently. Another great app to download is called Control Bar. You see, I like music controls. And this app is a one-time purchase of a dollar, but it's totally worth it because if you see right here, this is to control Dynamic Island, right? If we start the activity, hit continue, our music is playing, right? But if you look closely at the Dynamic Island, there's a new icon because if you long hold, you have quick music volume control right here, as well as a skip forward 60 seconds or go back 60 seconds. And this is all fully customizable. And it not only works on Apple Music, Spotify, it also works on YouTube too. Any media you're playing, ideal for like podcast listening as well. So if I click on this first video I selected and we get exit out of here, just move this to the side. Long at Dynamic Island allows me to quickly adjust the audio, go forward or go back and it works extremely well. And then if I launch the actual app itself, which once more it's called Control Bar, I'll have a link in the description down below. You can tap edit. You can add all of these other control options down here too, from 90 seconds to 45 seconds to 15 seconds, recommendations, plus to like add it to your like or playlist on demand or repeat. And you could just simply add on to them and you could add up to six, it looks like. But once we get out of here, just long hold on the action. Oops, forgot to hit save. There we go. Now if we long hold right here, we have more tools. So if we play a song real quick, like on Apple Music, notice how Apple Music controls are still right there and available. And then over here you have the other additional settings without having to launch the actual app. So that's why I have this on my list for the additional tools that it gives you for media controls. Now this next app is a free to download app and it's called Sticky Timer. And it's this app right here. The beauty about this app is I could run multiple timers all at once. And if we exit out of here, oops, let me close the previous app real quick. Uh, I forgot to mention you have to hit stop live activity for it to go away. And then we're gonna turn off music. There we go. Now we have our timer displayed on top here and it'll go by order too. So you can see all the existing timers you have run in the background. You can stop it all at once. And that's basically the entire concept to this app. Now, if you launch the app, you may see like a trial thing. Just hit the X icon and you'll see that it is for use just to use the multiple timer ability. Just however, there is a one-time purchase of this app, which you'll find it in the theme section and will lock more additional things like to add emojis and such to your timers. You can start the free trial, but then after that, it's $5. And that, it's not monthly, it's yearly. But if you tap on all plans, you can do a one-time purchase of $10 and own it for a lifetime. So if you need to run multiple timers at once, not a bad app. Now this next app is Dynamic Lyrics. This app is pretty cool because if you're playing music with Apple Music, you can just hit play and it will show you the lyrics right here as it plays. But if you enable the dynamic live activity, as the song plays, you can see the lyrics right here displaying on the side of the dynamic island. Now this app is a one-time purchase of $4. 
But if we long code and go back into the app, and we go ahead and bring this down, you could disable live activity for the dynamic island, but you can also enable the floating window. This way the lyrics will also be playing. So I like the fact they don't give you the option to make it so you have to buy their premium version, the full app, just to benefit off of this. But if we do go back and disable the floating window, I don't know, something about the dynamic island is kind of cool. And then of course you can also long code and tap show lyrics. And it will show you the lyrics right there on top of your iPhone as the song plays. Although this is a slow pace uh, song, but it does change. Now, if you need to put a lot of notes on your Dynamic Island, there is an app for that. It's called Dynamic Notes. And that is this app right below here. And the way this app works is you can stack up to three notes on top right here. So you can see we have three. And once you're satisfied with the notes you selected, enable it. Go anywhere around the app. You can always tap on it right above here. And you'll be able to see your notes. You can also copy it right there and paste it somewhere else or go back to the next note by simply tapping the arrow icon and once you're done with the note you can just delete it and yes this app is free to download but the only drawback that's worth talking about is you can only stack up to three as it does require the premium version if you need to stack up to 10 notes but it's a one-time purchase of three dollars so no monthly subscription or annual subscription you have to subscribe to it's just a one-time purchase and you're set and then once you're done with your notes, you can just type in the next note right here and hit return, it'll save. And you also have the hamburger icon inside to reorganize it. And once you're done, you can just disable, enable live activity. But let's say for example, you are a data freak or maybe you work somewhere that involves a lot of network tracking. Dynamic X is the name of this app. And this app is free to download. And this basically allows you to start tracking your Wi-Fi activity. So anything you're doing on your iPhone, let me go ahead and eliminate Apple Music real quick. So we have full access of the whole entire bar. There you go. You can see your up and down internet speeds. And if you long code, it will show you additional information. And it is also customizable as well. But if you like to, you can also start it to float. So just like when you're playing picture in picture, you do have the floating window you can enable and you can stop floating or stop the dynamic island on the live activity. Then if you hit the gear icon, you do have more settings right here. But if we stop this and click on it, yeah, it does have ads. It's a free to download app. But if we skip this ad, you can customize the information it can display. Like if you want your RAM memory to be displayed here or CPU, just some of these additional data are locked behind a paywall, which you could pay annually or a lifetime of $15 or monthly for $1 a month. Personal preference, but the free version itself, in my opinion, it's good enough for data freaks. But another app that gives you data information similar to this is called Lock Launcher. By opening this app, it can seem a bit overwhelming because there's so much you could do here. But to show you how to use the dynamic features, go in settings and go into the live activities. Enable live activities, right? Now it launched on our dynamic island automatically. And you create the between up to 10 different groups, basically profiles. But if you scroll down where it says left and right displays, these are the only two you really need to know about. By selecting here, you have all these other options. So on your left display, you can monitor your battery life percentage. And on the right display, if you pause, you can see basically it shows you similar information what we were seeing on the other app that requires a paid subscription for your internet up and down, weather, temperature, your health data, like your steps. All right here, just turn on, hit allow. And then now if we exit out here, it shows us our daily steps. And I believe I selected the battery life percentage of our iPhone. If you want to disable it from your battery stats on top here. And then of course, if you long hold, you have app shortcuts you can also customize. So you have quick access to your most used apps. But yeah, this is a really great app because all this is free compared to the previous one. It's just slightly different and more overwhelming feeling, I guess compared to the other one as things are slightly easier to use and then just tap done and then boom we just customize it now it's showing us the temperature for the day on the right and then on the left we have our up and down data speeds so that's lock launcher in a nutshell and then lastly if you like to store family photos or your favorite photos on your dynamic island then shelf is the app that you want to download so if you go ahead and launch it this is how the app looks like again they'll all be linked in the description so they're just a click away here you can create a shelf by tapping plus you can do captions actions like shortcuts or photos and then just hit create 
give it access to your photo library, of course. And then just go in and select a photogenic photo. And then select the dynamic island. And go ahead and adjust it to your personal preference. It gives you a preview right there. And then just tap save. And then tap launch. And then we got to go in and actually disable this one real quick. So live dynamic and then turn off the action. There we go. Now we have a full screen. So now on our first shelf, we actually have a photo right there on the dynamic island. Now I do understand there's a chance that some people may have the dynamic island disabled on some apps that may not be popping up automatically. If this is the case, it's super easy to get started. You simply just have to go in your iPhone settings. In the settings tab, go into apps. And look for the apps that you are concerned that you may not have Dynamic Island enabled. So by selecting the app, like we have Best Buy right here, and what you want is to make sure it's enabled, Live Actions. By enabling this, Dynamic Island will automatically come up for like your Best Buy pickups and stuff, but also on your lock page, it will also display like, oops, trying to minimize this, there we go. It will also display the Live Action right here on your screen. And that's like you can enable it and disable it on some apps. Like my other favorite app is probably Shazam, because by launching the Shazam app, it can also be located in the control center as well. But by launching this, it'll give you a real time status right here when the music is detected. And just like that, now you are a pro when it comes to using your dynamic island on your iPhone to its full potential and blast the competition away on showing them some cool things that a device cannot do. Again, links to everything, including those third party apps will be in the description down below, as well as any questions you may have. Like, I know this is a commonly asked question, what kind of band this is. That'll be in the description as well, including that wallpaper. And please feel free to click on this video over there in case you're curious and find out what cool things Apple CarPlay can do thanks to the latest update of iOS 18. Thank you so much for watching.